This is C. Edmund Wright, and today we're going to shatter some stereotypes. Mayor Bloomberg, for the past few months, has been dealing with the Occupy Wall Street mobs, who took some of the winter off, and now they're back for the spring. And Mayor Bloomberg is worried about shutting down trains, shutting down cabs, shutting down streets, shutting down his city. And yet, at the very same time, his news service is reporting on these Occupy Wall Street mobs as if they're some kind of innocent, righteous, anti-greed young kids. Of all people, Bloomberg should know better than that. These kids are the greediest folks in the country. They may not be big Wall Street bankers. They may not own businesses because, of course, they're all still living in their parents' basement. They haven't accomplished anything. And yet they want us to provide them their sleeping bags, their food, their iPhones, their iPads. It's just really ridiculous that the mainstream media, especially Bloomberg's own news service, has fallen for this and is giving them the mantra of being anti-greed. No, they're anti-success. They're anti-reality. In reality, most folks that are wealthy earned it and earned it correctly, earned it honestly. In reality, most of the young kids with Occupy have no idea how wealth is generated. One of them was interviewed a number of months ago talking about wanting to get rid of property rights. When the reporter asked him, well, what about your laptop? And he says, well, that's not property. That's a possession. They're so clueless, they don't even understand why and how sacred rights, I mean, property rights are the most sacred rights. I got a memo for you, Mayor Bloomberg, and for your editors at Bloomberg News. These kids are not anti-greed. They just want the, the wealth shifted from those who earned it to those who didn't. That's not greed. That's worse than greed. 